Okay, left you guys on a cliffhanger last time. In this time of part nine, I'll be employing my little strategy. I explained my last vid. If you did tune in, as you should have, should be there every time I release this video for Age of Empires 2. Um, and what we'll be doing is I got a group of two hand swordsmen, some knights, just to protect my siege onagers and monks, which are pretty prized commodities, pretty expensive, pretty slow. So whenever you, uh, you're like uses some siege onagers, you got some monks. Units that really frankly can't protect themselves and are slow. You should have some pretty powerful units on hand. Preferably cavaliers or paladins upgraded from the knight at your stable. And what are you guys doing going that way? But um, what are the, those sheep? Oh yeah, they were sheep, so no big deal. Um, and what you do, once you upgrade to Siege Onager, you will get the capability to mow through trees. What you do is you use the attack ground method and you launch whatever you know these are those stones or I don't know what they are stones or something and they will take down the trees for you so that's an easy way to clear out the trees and if that tree is like a acts as a secondary wall or maybe even a primary wall for a base uh, you'll have no problem you don't have to cut take your time cut through there with villagers just get a siege on a group bam We're all the way through all the way through so Come on, hit the... Those are going right through the trees and they're not going down. These trees must be pretty sturdy. I mean, like, right out of the Redwood Forest or something because they're not going down very easily. And oh, I love how units just are so unified. Farm exhausted. I don't have the time to have people put farmers down. Plant, they plant them pretty quickly. I gotta give them that. It usually takes farmers a good amount of time, but these people do it in like 30 seconds, so they would be pretty rich in real life. Uh, but the ain't they're working for me um, but anyways you just go through this forest and eventually you will make your way west southwest slightly and then you'll be able to go north a couple steps and go through the other group of trees that is connected to the walls of the English base and which guards the relic so it's a pretty easy route over there as you see I don't know where this is why there would be sand um, in Scotland but like right in the middle of nowhere in a group of trees but uh, I'll leave it to the game designers of Age of Empires 2 I'm not going to play too much wonderful job making this game hands down could not do this on my I, well, I was just about to say I can't do this on my own I never did this so no, that's not even that's not even making sense at all his transport chips sit there transport chips although they are pretty useless probably the most useless unit throughout most of the most of your game once you build them they're filled with moments of excitement it's like a police officer you know you're sitting there for 95 percent of your job you know eat some donuts i don't want to put stamp stereotypes and generalities on too many of the cops many of them are hard working and probably most of them are but um you know you're sitting there you know chilling with your buds half the time and then you get a call you got a robbery at a gas station you got five five percent of your job is utter crisis and that what that's what a transport ship could be too you know you you have the most important unit on your boat and if you sink it you're done you're done that's it you're in the middle of the water sharks are gonna eat you so you know that's my just drawing a parallel between the, the police police force and some good old transport ships and right now just in case I'm gonna have a villager come on over mosey on over and build me a castle uh, just you know just for the heck of it build the castle over here in case <coughs> excuse me in case any units you know, dry in the throat in case any units want to come in and mess up your party so I'm gonna build it right there should be pretty safe allow my units to get in there take down the trees and get the relics with the, the monks move up with the two-hand sword. I love the two-hand swordsmen, how they just hold the swords. They look so regal. Champions are pretty sick, too. I don't know what I like more, though. Oh, probably two-hand swordsmen, I'd say. Alright, so moving in here, talking about the two-hand swordsmen, crap like that. It's the time the knights are sick. Shut up! Would you stop, can, stop explaining where the... Relics are I know I know where they're located. Played this game before. Don't you know who I am? 
Mike, you eat those words. Wait. Some, some I, I can't remember. Sonic Adventure 2 battle reference there. Cannot completely remember what has been said between Sonic and Shadow in the uh, green jungle, I believe. Or green forest or something like that. But that was screwed up. And so, oh, I don't know. That would be pretty painful. I, don't, I, I would think the sea Johnigers would get stuck in some of those tree stumps there. I mean, those axles would be spinning and... Boom! I had a tree stump. It stopped. It's it stopped there. That would take a little bit longer than what is being displayed right now. Uh, but we'll take the time as we kill a as we kill an innocent sheep that is somehow stuck in the middle of a forest. Did not completely comprehend that one. But space is being cleared. Get out the way. Hopefully nobody representing the Green Party is watching this one right now. Uh, but basically this is history, so you, you can't rewrite history, change history at this point. I mean, you know, so just let it be. Let it be. And no, uh, not Beatles song. No, not, not talking about the Beatles song either. And I mean, like, Peter right there and... Uh, like on any environmental protection agencies or something like watching this video I could just be pinned on right there I just took down a whole group of trees they're just all the all that's left is barren ground and stumps okay I just killed a pair of innocent sheep trapped in the woods I mean I'm just I'm riding on horses right now I'm just ticketed for uh, incrimination so um i mean if i don't if this is the last video i ever make uh you'll know why bye everyone just you know just in case just in case give a goodbye so hey oh there we go speedy running down the hills there that give me confidence boost you know monks making their way down hills a little bit faster, get a little boost of speed. I'm already attacking the English. Look, look at that. It's a perfect example of how terrible those Scottish allies are. I won't even call them allies. I just call them, you know, like, bump on a road, basically. You know, a bump on a log. Road. That, that wouldn't make sense. Bump on a log, my bad. I really have just ex showed uh, how terrible I am at relaying metaphors to you guys so there it's a bump on the log not a bump on the road I do not want to be confusing those two sayings so that's what the Scottish allies are though. anyways they're, they're offering tributes for me attacking the English I'm already making my way tackling them the, the, the buildings are in rubble right now and they're giving me tributes I mean save for yourself for some reason for crying out loud you don't even have a freaking militia you got these villagers might as well have like sappers or something just to make sure you got some kind of army, but uh jeez. I'm gonna run this place here. If I was in here all these Scottish guys would be dead. There would there would be no Scotland. Just be British Kingdom. And farms go away, stop annoying me. I'm putting relics in the monastery. I don't need your garbage right now. Uh. Farms exhausted, cutscenes flying out everywhere, bumps on the logs, uh, I don't know what else. Annoying narrators, Age of Empires just filled things getting them under my skin. But anyways, time for a cutscene, stop me talking. Thanks for watching this part, stay tuned for part 10. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers, and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. <laughs>